and thanks for joining us on Abilene Midday. I'm at Kelsey Pittman and for Joni McKinnon. And I'm Grant Osterud. Before we get to the weather, Grant, let's look at what's coming up on Abilene Midday. Small businesses in the big country hope that shoppers will rest up for the special day of shopping on what's known as Small Business Saturday. Local shoppers will be offering special deals for the occasion and a surprise send-off for the Cougars as they make their way to playoffs against Birdville. But first, Grant, let's take a check on that weather. Let's do it because we've been dealing with those winds all morning long so far today, but it's been pretty nice out there aside from those winds. So let's take a look out there right now. We are in the 60s across most of the big country, 67 degrees here in Abilene already. In fact, Breckenridge breaking that 70 degree mark, and it's not even 1130 yet. It's 68 in Coleman, 68 down in Brownwood, 65 in Sweetwater. You can see those winds shaking around our tower cam pretty good out there. They're out of the west now, anywhere from about 15 to 25, even 30. 30 miles per hour out in Snyder. Those wind gusts even stronger than that. But as we take a look on satellite and radar, things are quiet. In fact, hardly a cloud in the sky. We'll be seeing sunshine the rest of the today, so enjoy it along with those warmer temperatures. Well, I'm glad to see that, Grant. Yes, it's a nice change. Now, let's take a look at your local news this morning. Most Abilene City offices are closed, are closed still closed today. That includes City Hall, the Public Health Department, Rosebud Senior Center, the Animal Shelter, and both public libraries. There will only be limited trash pickup today, and any site Citations with the municipal court will be closed Monday with no penalties. But please, the Abilene Police and Fire Department are still in operation. The famous Salvation Army Red Cuddles are back. But this year, the Abilene, the ringer volunteers are few and far between. The Salvation Army of Abilene says the Red Kettle fundraiser is the biggest source of money for the year. It helps provide free meals every day of the year, as well as clothes and shelters for those in need. This year, they're in need of volunteers. In the meantime, the bell ringers are stepping up their game. One group kind of fighting against another group to raise money for the Salvation Army. It's for a wonderful cause. If you'd like to volunteer, you can call the Salvation Army or go to their offices on Butternut. And the Cooper Cougars got a surprise as they make their way to Mineral Wells for playoffs. As parents and fans gather to wave off the football players, Abilene first responders showed up to escort the team as they drove out of the key city. We're ready to go and bring home a win so that we can get on to the next round. That's what we want to do. Kickoff is at 2 p.m. this afternoon against Birdville. Even with the convenience of online and the craziness of Black Friday, some people like the smaller feel and customer service of Small Business Saturday, and for that matter, every day. Customers say they get peace of mind not having to wonder if the product fits or not, and both customers and small business owners like local stores because of the relationship it builds. Of course, your next big shopping day will be Monday. That's Cyber Monday. And as we continue your coverage, we go to Alabama, where one person is dead and two others are injured after shooting at the Alabama shopping mall. Authorities in Hoover say two people got in a fight at the Cup, Cup River Chase Gallery Mall. It is escalated to violence, and there was an exchange of gunfire. An 18-year-old was taken to local hospital, reportedly in serious condition. The man who shot the teen attempted to flee, but was killed in the confrontation with the police. A 12-year-old girl was also shot and taken to the hospital. Police say the mall is now secure. And the president draws conference this Thanksgiving by allowing troops along the U.S.-Mexico border to use deadly forces to stop immigrants. If necessary, the president also sp spoke at length about the possibility of sealing off the entire southern border and defending his decision to allow U.S. troops there to use lethal force. U.S. Hans Nichols reports. Nearly 6,000 troops here received new orders from their commander-in-chief today. They have to. They're going to use lethal force. But the official White House order, which may be challenged in court, says deadly force could only be used when reasonably necessary to ensure the protection of federal personnel. The president also threatened a total shutdown of the U.S.-Mexico border if the Mexican government fails to secure its side. We will close entry into the country for a period of time until we can get it under control. The whole border. I mean the whole border. Mr. Trump praising the troops spending Thanksgiving here, reinforcing the southern border against what he called bad people. I guess you could really call it Bob Wire Plus. This is the ultimate. And... And nobody's getting through these walls. For the troops at Base Camp Donna, Texas, Trump's comments may mean yet another holiday spent away from home. As long as the mission takes us, that's how long we'll be here. The focus today was to celebrate a holiday with their brothers and sisters in arms. I get to spend Thanksgiving with my family here. Today's dinner, the culmination of a culinary operation that began before dawn, deep frying 800 pounds of turkey. 
Inside the eight mobile kitchens, preparing 3,000 servings of roasted turkey, 14,000 pounds of steak, and 300 pounds of mashed potatoes. The home cooked meal. And plenty of dessert. A sweet potato pie, pumpkin pie, apple pie. With two Thanksgiving traditions intact senior leaders serving the troops they command, and a friendly game of football. Hans Nichols, NBC News at Camp Donna, Texas. All right, Grant, after we all stuffed our faces with turkey yesterday, will it be a good day to go outside and turn and burn off some of that? Well, as long as you don't mind the wind, it's going to be a pretty good day out there right now. Gusts across the big country as high as 30 to even 35 miles per hour right now. 30 or 29 mile per hour gust here recorded in Abilene. Those wind gusts are going to continue to be strong as we head into the afternoon, so try not to get blown away if you're going to be outdoors. This morning, those strong winds kept some very warm temperatures in place overnight. In fact, we only dropped to 54 degrees here in Abilene. It's about 15 degrees above our average for this time of year. Snyder came in cool this morning at 45, but otherwise, most of the big country only made it into the low to mid 50s to start our month or our Friday and Black Friday morning. Now this afternoon, that warm air is going to continue today as we hang on to plenty of sunshine out there and those breezy winds, 70 degrees for a high this afternoon here in Abilene. But by six o'clock, check out those winds really backing off, becoming westerly only around five to ten miles per hour as that sun sets out there. Clear skies as we head into the overnight. Temperatures falling back into the lower 50s by nine o'clock. It will be cooler tonight as temperatures fall back into the mid 40s, a little bit closer to average for this. This time of year, I'll show you what you can expect for your weekend plans coming up in about or er, coming up later. Kelsey, thanks, Grant. Here's what's coming up on Abilene Midday. Fighting for top box offices this week, Michael B. Jordan as he battles his past. That's what's coming up in your box office preview after the break. This is KRBC.